I have a collective love slash friendship reading. I feel like for some people, this is a long lost friend, others a long lost love. If you want to book a reading with me, go to needthismessage.com. First, let me tell you, this pops out a lot with collective readings. You are not of this earth. That's good. I think that both you and this person are not of this earth, if you know what I mean. I feel like maybe that's why you're thinking about them. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about reaching out to you, but they're not sure if they should. But you're mirroring each other and this laughter is the highest frequency. This is someone who you really have a great time with. You miss laughing with. I think you both had problems with healthy boundaries with each other because you're both people pleasers, maybe. The kind who don't really stand up and say no when you should. Because you just want to be nice. I have just have a feeling that boundaries were a problem in the past. It feels like you always slip away. I kind of think you, you guys feel this about each other. but You keep coming into each other's lives at weird times. Like right person, wrong time type of thing. And I feel like there's conflict here. A lot to protect your feelings. I threw you away. I mean, I feel like there was a lot of this going back and forth. That's what I mean. People pleasing. Things kind of went south in a weird way that you didn't expect. You regret what you said. Both of you regret what you said. And at the same time, you feel like you were protected from each other. I think maybe you both know it's the wrong time. And I think, yeah, this person is hiding, watching you, maybe on social media, maybe asking people about you. For some of you, I'm thinking they even, maybe they saw a parent or a sibling of yours at the grocery store. I just got that for someone. I know it's specific. But someone's been asking about you. Like, I mean, you've gotten little rumblings and hints. Like, maybe you've seen them stalking you online. And I don't mean stalking in a bad way. I just mean you could see they're hanging out there. Or rumor has it they're asking around, you know. I think what's going on is this person sees big changes coming for you. And so do you. You feel it. Another level. You're about to go up to the next level in your life. Something's, something's about to happen. Big, big, big changes are coming. And, look, you will only be alone if you want to be. Again, like, I feel like it could be friendship, could be love. But it's up to you if you want to reconnect with this person. Oh, time for a change. Yeah, that came from another deck confirmation that, yeah, big changes are on the way. These are two different decks. I like it when they confirm each other. Time for a serious conversation with someone. Yeah. It, and it's again, it's up to you. It's your free will. Be kind to someone who does not deserve it. I kind of feel like both of you on each side feel like, well, I don't really want to be nice. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't really know how to treat the other person, but you know that kindness is the way to do it. Just, if you do end up talking to the person, I really think just walk in love. Because, you know, there may be some hurt feelings from the past. I don't feel like this is someone you need to throw away, though. I'm not saying... Now, again, I'm not trying to tell you to marry the person or move in with them or get in business with them. I'm just saying you need to talk to them. Because you're already thinking about it. I'm not trying to plant ideas in your head. I'm confirming what you're already thinking. Please don't make this fit. Please scroll on if it doesn't resonate. I should have said that earlier. This is not for everyone. Nothing can stop good things from happening to you, to either of you, whoever this is for. You're both protected. You're an original. I feel like this is someone, too, who brings out your creative side. It helps you in your originality, if that makes sense. Someone who just sparks, maybe a muse. Someone who just makes you, makes you more creative. And I feel like maybe these popped out because maybe in the past you kind of saw this person as a bad luck charm. Like, when they were around, things kind of went squirrely. Go with your intuition. I just think if you have patience and understanding with each other and be kind and realize that maybe you both messed up in the past, maybe you both were unkind, maybe you both misunderstood, maybe you both projected, you'd both just ignored or detached. But either way, I don't... I feel like this is something where if you get upset with them for something, it's probably because you did the same thing and maybe you're a little bit in denial about it. And I know that's hard to hear and I'm probably also talking to myself okay final card here you attract happiness you do both of you and i feel like that's what this is about i feel like honestly i feel like this is an answer to something you've been manifesting or praying for this person might be coming back in your life I, again i'm not even saying the person coming back i'm just saying you need to have a conversation with them because you're already thinking about it i'm just trying to nudge you toward what your intuition's already telling you and it could just be the conversation and that's it but I feel like you need to stop hiding. Maybe you're hiding from each other. Hmm. Either way, I just feel like it's time that you just put this to rest and just get up with each other. Someone needs to reach out to the other. If you'd like to book a reading with me, needthismessage.com. Thank you.